last one. Number three. The things that you must understand about prophecy is that, number three, the message or the testimony given by Jesus is the essence of true prophecy. The message or the testimony given by Jesus is the essence of true prophecy. Hallelujah. Let me explain this. Now, the message or the testimony of Christ is the salvation that is found in him. Are you following me? We are about to conclude. So when we are talking about the message or the testimony that Jesus gives you, are you listening to me? That message that we are talking about is the message of salvation. You know, some of you will be thinking, oh, I've never received prophecy in my life. Salvation is prophecy. <laughs> I don't know if people are listening to me. Turning away from bad things to start doing the right thing. It is what? Prophecy. prophecy. Because that is the message. That is the testimony of Christ. So the message or the testimony of Christ is the, found, is the salvation that is found in him. Now, can I say something here? If you have found Jesus, you have found your prophecy. Can I repeat that again? If you have found Jesus, you have found your what? Your prophecy. In other words, you have found your will. You have found God's agenda. Because it is in Jesus that God's agenda, God's will is now revealed. I don't know if they are following me this week. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, the moment you meet Jesus, everything you are looking for for your life, it is inside Jesus. Are you listening to me? So, Jesus, let me say this, let me say, Jesus didn't come and die for our marriage. He didn't die for me so that I can get married. Please, people, you must listen. Jesus didn't die for me so that I can have a good business. Jesus didn't die for me so that I can count a lot of money. No, he died for me so that I can reconnect back to God. Are you listening to me, child of God? I don't know if you are listening to me. If you are listening to me, type amen in the comment section. Hallelujah. So, one thing you must know is that Jesus died for you for your salvation. And that salvation is your prophecy. Is your prophecy. So, don't have itching ears. Like today's believer, itching ears too much. You are always looking for something to hear. You are always looking for something to hear. So you know every prophet that comes on Facebook to lie to you. Because you think that is prophecy. No. Prophecy is the will of God for your life. Prophecy is you finding salvation in Christ. Reconnection back to God. Am I saying when a prophet tells you about your marriage about is wrong? They are not wrong. But that is not the fundamental of prophecy. Are you listening to me? That is not the real essence of prophecy. Are you following me? Amen. The real essence of prophecy is revealing who? Jesus Christ. So have you met Jesus Christ? If you have met Jesus Christ, then everything you need, you have also met them. Because everything you are looking for, they are found in Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? Now, there is this scripture that we like quoting to say, no, he became poor so that we can be rich. So now we, we jump and we are happy to say, oh, we are going to have billions in our accounts. <laughs> Let me tell you, that, that was a metaphor. That was, he was not talking about the riches of this world. He was talking about the riches of, 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 that belongs in the kingdom of God. The riches of God's glory. You must understand that the riches of this world and the riches of God's glory, they are different. Are you listening to me? So when the Bible taught us that it became poor so that we can be rich, it's not talking about, you know, worldly wealth. I know, yes, you'll be rich. I'm not downplaying that. Even myself, I'm a rich person by the special grace of God. Hallelujah. So we are not downplaying the wealth of this world. But that uh, scripture didn't talk about worldly wealth. Are you listening to me? Let me tell you what that scripture means. When, when, when the Bible says that, you know, he became, he became poor so that we can be rich. What it means is that 
When we began to live in sin, we were poor people. Are you listening to me? Because once you are living in sin, hello, you no longer have your true identity. Which is your, what is your true identity? Your true identity of God. Are you listening to me? So you were poor. So Jesus became poor. It's a metaphor. So that you can become rich. Becoming rich, how? Becoming rich in God's glory. Are you following me? Amen. Hallelujah.